And as Shruti has joined us as well. Tripudavan Singh, I'll start with you. When we were talking uh, right after the exit polls, the picture looked radically different. Uh, yes, Mr. Modi still equals. If he's sworn in, Lavanya reminds me, Nehru's record of three consecutive terms. But even in victory, he seems to be diminished by the fall below the majority mark, right? Uh, and, 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 and that will impact the kind of government he can run, the kind, the nature of power that he will wield, and the policies that he will be free to take. Uh, how do you see what's happening? Yes. Uh, no. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. There is there is palpable uh, palpable weakness, and there's no denying that. And there's no denying that there's been a dent in his brand. There's no denying that the, he'll have to do a lot of give and take in running his new ministry and running a new coalition government. And which way the chips will fall remains remains really to be to be seen. Right. It's not. Uh, it's this is in a sense the first election since 2001 when he first became chief minister that he's seen any real form of setback so how he manages a coalition ministry how he manages a relationship with his allies and even more crucially uh, what effect that has on internal relationships within the bjp uh, is something that we'll have to wait and watch there's no way of really predicting um how how things will really go and i think the internal the internal dynamics within the bjp are something uh, something worth kind of keeping a watch on uh, in fact through the day there was a suggestion tripudavan that somebody else might be the prime minister that's clearly not going to happen but there was a very strong buzz about that when i say somebody else i mean somebody else from the bjp lavanya has reminded us that you know it isn't over till it's over but i meant within the bjp uh, I mean, I, I I don't really know. I'm not really privy to what's uh, to too much of whatever what's going on in the BJP. But definitely, something like this does affect the internal balance of power within the party, uh, and obviously, it's something that will. It's hard to to really predict. It's most likely that uh, Prime Minister Modi will take oath again. It's hard to imagine uh, someone else staking claim to that chair right now. But of course. Taking oath is one thing, uh, and keeping everything together is uh, in such a setting is going to obviously take effort and and management, and that's something we 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 will 